Yes, we have been wowed by the performance of Ramsdale, but let's talk about the game itself. Liverpool drew 2-2 uh, against Arsenal at the Anfield. In fact, Arsenal scored first two goals. Gabriel Martinelli and um, Gabriel Jesus. Later on, Liverpool um, scored through Mohamed Salah. Uh, Mohamed Salah. Um, Salah again makes the penalty before later on Roberto Firmino. Making it 2 all for Liverpool. But let's talk about the other stuff and the game itself. Let's look at the details. Please, this is All Sports GH on YouTube. All Sports GH on YouTube. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, then hit the notification button. Because we do all sorts of analysis on sports. It's sports in general. So, thank you very much. If you have subscribed, God bless you very well. Now, let's talk about the game itself. Because there are a few details we need to talk about. Look. First of all, is the title race. I'm going to talk about the game itself. But the title race looks very interesting, isn't it? Look, City have a game in hand. Maybe against Brighton. We'll talk about that later on. But Arsenal have 73 points. Manchester City 67. So, uh, Arsenal have a game against City. If City wins its um, outstanding game, and they win against Arsenal, plus the rest of the game, City wins the league. So, the game against Arsenal is going to be a walk-up. We didn't walk up. Get to see the results at the Anfield. Personally, I think that these two teams are not going to win the rest of the games. There will be a slip somewhere. Either from Arsenal or Manchester City. But this makes the EPL very, very interesting. And City have been in this situation so many times. Recent times, they have experience of winning the leg in this kind of situations than Arsenal. So Arsenal would have to be very, very careful, especially when they have a game against Manchester City because they have done that several times against Liverpool. Well, but let's talk about the game itself. Look, let me tell you, in fact, um, let me highlight few, few details, few details I would want to highlight. First of all, Trent Alexander-Arnold, how was his performance? How did you see him? Trent played as the right back, but whenever Liverpool were doing the attacking transition, he stepped inside as an invented Deal or invented fullback. Um, I have to find time and talk about the you know uh, fullback invented um, all the engashi the tricotista. I would definitely talk about that one later on. But he stepped in uh, as a number six. I think this is this is more basic. So anytime Liverpool were on the attack, Trent stepped in as a midfielder. As a defensive mid for that alongside Fermi, uh, Fabinho, so that Henderson was a bit advanced alongside Kerry's Jones. So the midfoot four, the box became Trent Alexander Arnold, Fabinho as the base, then Kerry Jones, Henderson as the tip. Right. Trent had a good game. He had about 75 touches in the game. And I think that it was one of those reasons Trent had a better game as compared to his previous games. I have talked about this several times. Personally, I think that Jürgen Klopp should be looking at trying Trent Alexander-Arnold as a DM. And I'm happy I am seeing these times. But you see, the only disadvantage is the fact that Anytime Arsenal had a quick transition or counter attack, Liverpool struck because Tens Alexander Hannard had to transit from being a defensive midfielder to the right back. But before you move into that right back's position, Arsenal would have moved into space because they are quick attackers. So that is the only negative aspect of this sixth step. But I'm sure once Liverpool keeps on working on that, these things are going to be kept. Because, see, look, you can't play uh, Andy Robertson as an invented DM because of his style of play. But Trent can Alexander Arnold can play that particular role. Well, this I want to highlight. The next one, you see, I have never visited Anfield before, but maybe I would have to, one day I'll go there because I want to experience a night like this at Anfield. I just want to experience it. Because it looks as if Anfield was a bit asleep until Jacka's tackle, um, Jacka tackle on Trent Alexander Arnold. Then afterwards, it was like boom, and Liverpool started gaining momentum. 
and it looks as if there's some level of synergy between the fans and the and the performance of Liverpool players at Anfield. I just want to experience that and see how he feels. Because once Anfield is, is up there, it's is up there to the roof, the fans are enjoying every moment singing. It's automatically... I, that's what I'm saying. There's, there seems to be a level of synergy. We would have to look at that. The, the click, the, the, the connection between the fans and the players' momentum. How these things merge together for Liverpool to play how they did in the second half. Wow. I love that. I have seen that several times. That looks as if this year. Yeah, maybe you go missing or something. But few times, few times that I've seen the Anfield spirit back. It's, it's been okay. Except some few, few games. Like the Real Madrid game. It just didn't work. It just didn't work. So let's talk about the other one I want to. In fact, I want to highlight some few details because we are going to talk about the Champions League. So, next point. See, Salah have missed the last two penalties in the English Premiership. I feel very sad because Salah is my guy. Salah is, is, is one of the... I... Well, maybe I don't want to stay controversial, but look, what Salah have done in the, in the, in the English Premiership, he's among the best, but you see, people don't talk about it. He's missed two penalties, rest center. You see, the last four seasons in the English Premiership alone, he has had 17 penalties and has scored 14. So he's missed just three in the last four years this includes this season's own which is two so he barely makes penalties previously why is it that all of a sudden salah well maybe it's just game but liverpool will, and would have to work on that because the team is struggling few chances comes up but you expect these chances to be converted especially when you have penalties in, in, in the games like this well, so Salah, well, yeah, I think that Liverpool will have to work on that. Next point I want to also highlight is uh, Roberto Firmino. Firmino has scored 10 goals against Arsenal. It's, it's the highest. None penalty goals again, so that you don't confuse that with that of Harry Kane. Harry Kane has scored 14, but it includes penalties. But Roberto Firmino's own is none penalty goals. And I think that's, that's, that's an excellent record. He always finds a space to score against Arsenal. Previously, he used to be the Drobba. Now, it looks as if it's the uh, Firmino. Firmino will be facing out. So, maybe, maybe, just maybe we're going to find another player elsewhere, somewhere elsewhere. But uh, I enjoy that. But before I go, I have to acknowledge Aaron Ramsdale. Look, if Arsenal wins the Premiership, we are going to point the two save, crucial saves. One against Mohamed Salah. I mean, come on. Come on. That was excellent save. And the one against Konati. I, I personally, I thought it was him. Because he had to quickly change positions. And, oh, come on, the reflexes was excellent. It was, it was excellent. It works excellent. Look, in the first half, it was mostly Arsenal's game. I thought Arsenal could have or should have been up by three or four. When Liverpool came in, I, I also think that Liverpool could have won, especially the chances they had in the later part of the game. Because Arsenal had to switch to five back. You, you, you know, you don't normally see that. So it, mean, it means that Arsenal were really, really under pressure. Yet Liverpool found way to create chances. Yet again, it simply did not work out because of Aaron Ramsdale. Well, thank you very much. A few points I just wanted to highlight in the Liverpool Arsenal game because we are having a preview on the Champions League. Thank you very much. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, please. And uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, because